Hello guys, today I want to show you how to work with select two drop downs to be able to add a new option on the fly. So generally in our quick admin panel, if you want to create a category separately, you need to go to categories, add a category, then come back to this form and then the option would appear. But how to do it quickly if you have only one text, so you would be able to fill it in, for example, ABC. In this case, by default, it shows no results found, but select to library allows you to enable so-called tagging tags and you would be able to enter the text value and that text value would be passed to the controller. In this example, I will show it to you based on our quick admin panel generated version of Livewire, which is also using select two for dropdowns JavaScript library, but it can be useful also for non Livewire version or for no quick admin panel at all, just as a lesson for select two dropdowns. So in the code generated by our quick admin panel, we have a blade component X select list. It could be not a blade component for you guys, but as many dropdowns are repeating all over different forms, we decided to separate that. And in that blade component, you have something like this. So it's a select class select two. If there are multiple values, there are also buttons to select all or select none. And then at the bottom of that component, there's JavaScript code to enable that select two to implement it in the live wire version specifically and to avoid conflicts between live wire and JavaScript jQuery. It's a whole separate topic, but for simplicity, let's imagine that we have this select two here which enables the select to behavior. Everything else is around live wire and you don't need to care that much about that. So default behavior is you can select your option or you can search for the option like transportation and it's just a quick search option. Now let's transform it and enable your own text. And if we open select two docs, we find it's surprisingly simple. All you need to do is define tags true as one of the parameters while enabling the select two. So in here where we have select two, we add another option, comma, tags true. And if we refresh the page, here's our form. Let's try to add ABC, hit enter, and we have ABC here. So this is how easy it is to enable on the front end to add a new option, but it's only one half of the job. So ABC will come as a text to the controller or to live wire component in this case, and how to parse that. There are many creative ways how you can do that. So from the field category ID, we would have either the ID of the existing category or the text with a new category that we need to create. So we open the controller, or in this case, it's live wire component of app HTTP live wire transaction create. So this is the component generated by our quick admin panel. And in the submit, which is called in the create blade, if we go here, wire submit prevents submit. It could be, again, it could be your Laravel controller. You may do something like this, category equals category find by this. And then in this case, we have transaction property with category ID as one of them. So in our create blade, we have wire model to transaction category ID. So this is exactly what comes here to the submit. And now if we find that category, if not category, then we create that category with doing category, category create. And in our case, it will be title this one, this transaction category ID, which is not the ID actually, it's actually a title, but then we need to override that category ID with the new category ID like this. One more thing I've noticed while editing this video. So this is future me talking. It's not the title, it's the name in the database. So now let's try it out. We refresh our form and the amount, let it be one, two, three, four, five. Category, let it be a new category called clothing, for example. And then transaction date is whatever. We save and we have our new category saved in the list in the database. We refresh, we have new clothing with the name and then transaction belongs to the category ID of four. So to recap, the main thing that you need to know while working with select two library is you can enable tags with just one option and then the user would be able to enter new values in the form and those values would come as the value of the same field. And then on the back end, you need to check whether it's ID or new text that you need to save in the database. I hope it was helpful and you can try out the full generator that we use to generate this Livewire admin panel at quickadminpanel.com. See you guys in other videos.